Holy cow. Look at all those birds. No geese are the white ones, right? <laughs> now that is a great sign. Good evening. We got snow geese all over here. We are setting up our spread the night before the hunt. Alex went out and scouted and he got us on a field in the middle of at least a snow goose flight. They were feeding literally every direction around it. So and there's tracks where we're setting up. So we've got We've got a huge spread. Socks, full bodies, shells, the works, all kinds of stuff. We've got about 10 or 12 guys coming tomorrow, including myself, and hopefully can get my first snow goose. I've shot two Ross geese in my life, been on multiple snow goose hunts, and just never <laughs> never was able to connect with one. So hopefully tomorrow, I mean, they're talking, they're sitting on a field over across here. Holy cow, this is nuts. So hopefully all this work pans out. I don't know, I'm excited. It's going to be a, a new experience. I've never hunted over a spread this big or with this many people. And hopefully we can get them in, get them in close, and uh, get some down. It, it should be a good time, though. Good morning. We are out here. There's actually a smaller goose, about, I don't know, a thousand birds on a pond. Less than a quarter mile away. So they're literally on the field right across from us. Roosted up on that pond right now. And then we heard a few flying, full moon. A little less wind than what they were saying and we've got frost on the decoys so not ideal conditions to start off but hopefully first thing we can get some and then that sun will melt melt it off and hopefully the wind will kick up i don't know not much we can do now but just hope things work out go our way today but we'll see you know one bird if i shoot one bird i'll be happy <laughs> especially because it'll be my first snow goose but i don't know there's plenty of birds around and We'll either be really frustrated or really happy. Less than an hour to go though. Pintails. Oh my gosh. There's always pintails and snow goose. Look at those sprigs. Jeez. It's always like that in snow. Oh. Well, we're in the right field because every other species likes it. Shoot up these ones this time. Get him! Get him! Double tapped him on the way down. Well, we, we got one. He's somewhere out here. We got to still get him, but. <laughs> I thought he was just going to crumple. Yeah, but I tapped him on the way down, too. Yeah. It's a pretty cool body here for my Just need a little more wind to get him set up. But skunk is off. Down. This is the original one. The first one out the shot. A little 
Jumis. Look at this. <laughs> Come back around. <laughs> they're gonna land. Oh, they're gonna be right over us. Look at this. It's just torture. <laughs> huh? Huh? These might be low enough coming right at us. Get them up top, guys! <laughs> Got one. Five down. I didn't get this guy. What you think, Blake? Calling that a day and I'm in here because of course now the wind would whip up We didn't have any wind first thing this morning and we had just a little breath as the morning progressed And that's when we started to actually get a few to decoy If we had the wind first thing with the number of birds and we had adults actually circling and looking at us They just want it drop in because once again no wind and we had some frost on the decoys too, but wasn't much we could do about that we wanted to set them out the night before and then just show up still got five juvies on the day not not a bad day i can i can see the more and more i snow goose hunt which i don't have a ton of experience snow goose hunting but the more i do i can see why people get so frustrated with these because they're so i mean it is frustrating you do all this work you go through all this time and effort and you might get a few but you know that's hunting we saw a ton of snow geese today like a literal ton. I, mean, I don't even know how many thousands of snows we saw today. We were in the right flight path. Just the lack of wind killed us. And once we got a little breath, like I said, those those uh, gave us some looks and had some within shooting range, uh, 30 to 40 yards, uh, somewhere in there. And I did not get one solely by myself. I might have hit one or two of them. But, you know, I, I didn't shoot that much either. Um, I didn't even pull up on a few of them just because I figured we had 12 guys or so and one of, the, one of these guys should hit it but uh, it's it's a entirely different type of hunting than I'm used to but it was still still pretty fun um, hopefully get back out on another couple snow goose hunts and finally get my first snow goose that's that's still looking for that one all in all good day um, I mean it's the end of February almost March here and we're out waterfowl hunting, so I'm not going to complain about that. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to go out there and support those conservation organizations, Ducks and Unlanded, Delta Waterfowl, Pheasants Forever, it doesn't matter. There's one out there for you, and they do a ton of good work, so be sure to go out there and support them, and we'll catch you out there, guys. See ya.